One on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. Back here again with the Pinto two door wagon. Ooh, buddy. It's a clean, sweet little car. I'm gonna just give you a quick walk around in case you haven't seen the interior and exterior video. If you haven't, I'll put a link to it in the front here. God, look at them windows. It's in great shape. It's a one or two owner. Um, I've done all three videos today, and it's just in great shape. Got a little help doing some detail and now and stuff. The training takes time, but the videos are getting done and the cars are going to get and sold. Now, I've got Breeder with me, tinybeagles.com, so she kind of makes me bounce the camera around a little bit extra. I'm sorry. And check out cansoup.com, oneownercarguy.com. What goes good with the Pinto? Mercedes and stuff, you know, of course. Okay. God, I love caps. My dad's like, they were cool. I don't remember seeing them. I said, they're factory. He says, I know, they're cool. So, okay. I'm going to take this off of my neck. And we're going to go for a test drive. The car runs and drives good. Now, the tires, I think he replaced them at the same time. Like the front two are fairly new. Little titties all over the side and stuff. Great tread. The back two, I think, are older. Plenty of tread, but I think he replaced it at a different time. This one has plenty of tread. But I don't like the. Is this the one? No, yeah, right there. Just a little bit of dry rot starting. So, little chips in there. A little bit of corroding or whatever. That plastic little ring starting ring but you know once the dry rot starts you could have a if you have a blowout and blow the stinking side of your car out that makes you wish you'd have sure spent 40 to 60 bucks on a tire like i say the front two are pretty nice this one looks even different than the other it looks pretty good got a lot of tread unless you're worried about a tread pattern but these two on the back definitely are older what would i do probably buy all four Okay, so we are going to go for a test drive. Let's do that again. Alternator, engine, fasten belts, brake. Wow. You know, I think it needs the idle turned up just a bit because if you go like this, like it's cold, so it's like running a little cold right now. But like, right? Hang on now. Just the teensiest bit right there. Because any less and it kinda will cough at you a little bit now. <laughs> okay, you're gonna do that to me, huh? It is cold. Okay, look at this. You built that little custom brace there. I think there's a choke that's not on. Could be. So starts nice, runs cold. By the time you get to your first light, it won't do that. Plastic piece is broken off that side too. I showed you the custom brace that he made to back that up. You know how the handles get if you know the forward cars like this. And with that in mind, there's a little gauge over there too. I don't know what it is. Those are not looking. Amps. It's an amp gauge, not amplifiers. Okay, here we go. Look at that little factory mirror. I like this car. I know it's not the most expensive or most collectible, etc. But the survivor. Okay, well, we are doing it and doing it. What a cool car. I'm telling you, man. A little bit of play in the wheel. Oh, it's kind of turning now, so can't show you that. Uh -oh. There's not any power steering, but it's such a small car, you don't notice anything like that. Brakes are good, but they could use to be bled maybe a little. Um, it has been sitting a while, and it'll stop just fine, but it definitely is... Meh. I wouldn't say spongy. Maybe. Just a little bit of... Yeah, there you go. And it 
Yeah, you don't want that. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that. <clears throat> hey, I don't know if the. Hey now. Lights all work. Remember when you used to have to do it on the floor? Haha, <laughs> when you had to do it on the floor. That's what she said. So it does a nice little job cruising along. Four cylinder? 2.3 liter, I believe. I'm sure about the four cylinder. The 2.3 liter is the part I'm not so sure about. The glass in this thing is just beautiful. Yeah, this has been going on here a lot. It's amazing. We have. push them all the way so that it might be a little low on fluid even but here's what I'm talking about you get to a light it just seems like the idle it's running nice just turn it up watch right right there right there would be better right there versus if I let off hang on see the light came back on it's just maybe a 70. I don't think so. I didn't know he got the jump on me. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. He doesn't know. And he pulls ahead. Yes, sir. -y. Woo, buddy. The big bad Pinto. If I stack it on the roof, I can haul just as much as him. You think he knew he was racing? Maybe. He's slipping me off and getting behind me now. He must be. Okay, that is our test drive here pretty much. And dang it, dude, I'm telling you what, people go fast here. This guy, I can't keep up. I'm not gonna go that fast. That's 56 miles an hour. I'd be like, yeah, 47, 46, yeah, exactly. It's a 45 mile an hour zone. Think about that power! I'm telling you, it's a good running little car. Nice driver. Minimal little this and that to do. Um, you get this thing on and these things not moving any. It might not have as many of a, a rattle and popper here and there or nothing. Jeez, people are kidding me today. They're either going 60 or they're going 20. Five to a lane, none in the other. Yes, sir. -y. Everybody hurry up so we can stop in a big line, right? Okay. That's the test drive. We are basically where I'm going. Starbucks is pretty much always packed. But it's not people, it's cops. <laughs> One or the other. Okay, I am going to... Am I going to wait at the light? I'm going to wait at the light, ain't I? I was going to go right. Okay. Let's see. Yep. 
It's doing it now. Hey, there we go. Nice running. I still feel like fifty RPM could be all the difference in the world. Hang on. Now I gotta get it in drive. They think oh, that pin they don't even know the half of this deal, man. This thing is back in the bone. It is a nice little runner. You don't come across them this nice very often. Okay, just like that, I'm back at my place, and um, I am going to shut this bad boy. Actually, I'm going to leave this bad boy running. Look at that. Even the light works. Where's that at? Oh, it must be up here. It's not. Where's that at? Oh, it's in there. Okay. So it's running like it should now. Really, it might not need to be adjusted at all. Listen to it. There is a pulley squeakage. A pulley squeakage. Now, come on. Is that even a word, a phrase, or anything close to that? I don't think it's so. Hang on a sec. I'm sorry. Look at that belt just seems a little loose. Look at that belt a little loose. Or the pulley on the alternator. Hang on a sec. We'll do a little figuring out. Beautiful night in Lakeside, California. Listen to that thing run now. Come on. This thing ain't running bad. Yeah, buddy. It's a good little car. Okay, why did I do this? I'm just gonna shut this off. But instead of doing that, I thought it sounded so cool running. I wanted to check the lights too. That's on. That's on. That's on. It's gonna be hard to do reverse and stuff by myself. That's on. They're all on, man. I mean, the car is sweet. Sweet! Yes, sirree. Okay, here we go. That belt's a little loose. I'll try and tighten it up. Okay. One owner car guy. Oneownercarguy.com. That's the car. That's the test drive. Thanks for watching. It's for sale. Give me a call, 406-546-8748. Check the website, oneownercarguy.com and cansoup.com and tinybeagles.com. Yeehaw, we got a couple of them. Also, quirky little cool cars, I got them. Volvo, Sentra Hatchback, W140 S500s, 840 BMWs, I got 30 Trans Ams, W140, W140, Celica, got a Cimarron right there, got a four of these Seville's, got them, oh man. I can't even get in here because I've got all this stuff and I dropped my keys and stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. This is the one you need. Give me a ring. Thanks for watching.